China is I was always kind of looking to where are the advanced industries that are going to kind of push our move our own domestic economy moving forward. And I mean, for example, let's take a look at robotics. One of the things that's very interesting is, is when we look at the population in China and we look at the forecast for the future, this is a very interesting trend. And, you know, what's what's actually happening? You look at China right now, 1.4 billion people. Well, China also has one of the oldest populations and has a very low birth rate. So what you're going to see in the next 75 years, okay, by the time 2100 comes up, by the end of this century, you know, you're going to see China's population roughly go from 1.4 billion down to around 750 to 800 million. So, I mean, they're going to lose around 600 million people as terms of population, right? It's going to be under a billion people by the end of the century. So a big thing that people are saying is, look, China's not going to have the workforce to actually be building stuff anymore, right? They're not going to have the people to be able to work in those factories. But then you kind of counter that and you say, well, we're preparing for that because we're also leading in, in robots, right? You know, we're, we're, we're leading the world in, in robot, uh, uh, you know, deployment and how we're using robots. Uh, there are certain car factories, for example, that operate 24 seven in China, and they actually don't have lights on because they're just, they're all robotic, right? Wow. So you don't need lights on. They just, they work 24 seven and it's just robots, you know, actually manufacturing, you know, and assembling the cars. 